Hey guys, so today in this video, we're gonna be collaborating with the beautiful Maggie on this very classic prom look. So don't forget to check out her video in the description box and let's get started. Starting off with some facial toner that's rose water, I'm gonna be prepping her skin and spraying it all over her face. And then I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige and I'm gonna be applying it all over with her beauty blender. Next, using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm just going to be applying it under her eyes so that way we can cover up some dark circles and prep. Then I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm going to be just filling in her eyebrows. <laughs> Reminds me of my voice. Yeah, Aspen. Oh, Wait, me or Emily? You. Really? Yeah. I think that look at look at look her up. Oh, well, no, I, I watch her videos, yeah. but I think her voice is cute. My voice is annoying. No, your voice isn't annoying. Mine is annoying. I desperately feel like I sound like your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Then I'm gonna be going back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just gonna be putting it around her eyebrows. So that way we can clean it up and make it a little bit more precise. Then I'm going to be putting some on her eyelids so that way we can prep for her eyeshadow as kind of acting like a primer base. And then we're going to go in with the CoverGirl translucent powder and I'm just going to be baking her face underneath her eyes, her forehead, her nose, her chin, you know. Then while we wait to bake, I'm going to be taking this color and I'm going to be applying it almost all over her eyelids except like maybe at the inner corner and really focusing it on the outer corner taking my time to layer it on so that way it blends very nice Then going in with a medium brown shade, I'm going to be really focusing this on the outer corner and blending it to the crease just so that way it gives your eyes a little bit more depth after you put the transition shade on. Taking the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be taking this very beautiful shimmery gold shade and I'm just going to be applying it all over her lids, I guess the mid area and the inner corner where we didn't put the other colors on. After that, I'm just going to be dusting off all the powder that we used to bake and then just kind of putting it all over the rest of her face. Then I'm going to be taking a felted tip eyeliner and I'm just going to be putting on some eyeliner for her in a little wing. Then using the same color that we used in the transition shade which is a very light warm brown, I'm just going to be applying it underneath her eyelashes like underneath by her waterline just so that way we can blend everything. Seamlessly. Then I'm going to be putting on her mascara which is the L'Oreal Voluminous. And I'm just going to be applying some mascara on her and we're just going to be prepping for the false eyelashes. Next, I'm going to be putting on the false eyelashes by Wet n Wild after I trim them down. Taking the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette, I'm going to be using that little medium shade and I'm just going to be bronzing her up so that way she kind of gets that, you know, that sun kiss glow that's very natural. Then taking the Becca Highlighter, I'm just going to be applying it onto her cheekbones, her nose, her brow bone, and all the spots that, you know, you would like to highlight. 
Next, I'm going to be taking her matte red lipstick, and I don't honestly really know what brand it is, but anyways, I'm just going to be applying it onto her lips, kind of softly lining around her lips, because she did say that she would like a little bit bigger on the upper lips, and that is it for the video. And that is it for this makeup look. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And also check the description box so you guys can check out her YouTube channel that she just started up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!